Jujutsu. Especially to avoid secondary weapons or, sm or small weapons as the Tanto. So, we translate. In this Renkaku case, where we are here, we already saw the impacts and all we can do to on targets as ribs or knee or internal areas of the body. So now, talking about transitions, is how to pass to a safe, uh, safe position, avoiding this risk. So in this case, in this uh, special case, what we are going to see is that from here, I'm going to open the space in the arm, and at the same time, I need to be sure that we cannot catch the tanto in this case. So to do that, I need to actually make his arm unable to attack me. So that's why I'm going to do this and I'm going to move this arm. But at the same time, now I have my uh, other problem here because he can get out this, get this arm and impact on my face. So in that case, I need to go to his back. So I go backwards and also I'm going to use my head to avoid him taking out his arm. At the same time, I'm going to imbalance him and bring him to the ground. So, in that case... So now we have a situation where, where the ground is a weapon and I'm going to use the ground to strike to impact his head and also to impact certain areas as the shoulder at the same time as the body. Now, avoid him to use this secondary weapon. So I have his arm right here, and I have my hand that goes immediately to the throat. At the same time, I have the whole uh, lateral area vulnerable, and as I am also with my secondary weapon, I can open space to stab, to cut any area, anatomical area that I like. If I'm not using the secondary weapon, now in that case, I need to gain a transition to use this and from here I can do many many techniques to finish this sequence.